So hello YouTube, this is World of War Black Ops Pro, and today I'm bringing you some creative classes for Call of Duty Ghost. So this, these are just some of the classes I use, so uh, let's get into the classes. So so here's my AK-12 class. The AK-12 is a good class overall, I mean, it's a good it's a good gun for most circumstances. I mean, I put a suppressor extended mags because those are really beneficial for this gun. Like, you always want to stay off the radar, and extended mags I find is more helpful than grip in most circumstances. And I run the lethal ID. I always play this at somewhere to get a fr either a free kill or to guard an entrance. Same thing with the tacticals. I just place those to guard entrances too, so it makes camping a lot more effective. So for the perks, I run takedown. So takedown allows me to camp in the position longer because enemies won't be able to see the skull. So off the grid allows me to avoid the satcoms, which can give your position away. Um, the, the extra tactical is obvious. I want two motion sensors to guard more entrances. Extra ammo, of course. And hardline just to get my streaks faster. And my streaks are IMS, IMS Battle Hind, and Helo Pilot. And each one of those helps me. Those are the best streaks combination. They work the best. Okay, so now let's get into the M27. So this class, um, I'm running the M27 suppressor. Of course, stay off the radar. Uh, I have thermal sight on because. I feel this weapon kind of needs an optic, and thermal sight is just the best. And for lethal, of course, we have tactical. Well, for lethals, we have IEDs, and tactical, we have motion sensor. And pretty much everything is the same as the previous class for the same reasons, really, because that they work well together. It's a good class for getting high streaks like cams or, or just uh, cams or your, your just your regular streaks. So let's get about more of a regular streaks here. So the IMS helps guard a door, gives you free kills too. Then those kills can lead you up to your battle hind, and your battle hind can get you kills and lead your helo pilot. So naturally they work pretty well together, and they're worth getting. I mean, a lot of streaks can go under power, so those are actually some pretty good streaks that I recommend you guys run. Okay, so the next class is the same exact as the previous one, but except with one change is incog. This is for this is like a counter sniper, counter thermal sniper class. So, if you're playing on maps like Ignition, people run the snipers all the time. But thermal, you can always pull out this class. So here's my VKS class. This is this is a sniping class. Is before I started using the M27. I mean, it's it's a weaker sniper rifle, but the good thing is it's it's the strongest one that's suppressed and it has the biggest magazine, and it fires pretty fast. So I run thermal just so I can see people better. I run the extend mag to give me more ammo, so we're starting ammo because I'm not running uh, I'm not running fully loaded this time, as you can see. And I run lethal to, to guard entrance. Same thing with tactical. Uh, and I run I run takedown B stealthy. I t run uh, off the grid to stay off the radar. Hard line, of course, because this gun this weapon is kind of a hit marker machine. So getting those assists, getting kills assist kill points for the uh, kill points for those assists are pretty crucial. And uh, Blind Eye, I just run that because I had an extra perk, and I felt like this could be in my anti-oracle class because those oracles are so OP. Like, sometimes they just need an anti-oracle class. So I pull this one out if they have oracles up. So this is my search and rescue class. I don't really play search and rescue too much, but this is what I would use when I would play during Onslaught. Like, when, when Onslaught, there was an Onslaught playlist out that several months ago. And then whenever I run into this, I didn't want to keep backing out, so... Of course, this one, like, you don't need very much ammo, so I don't have extended mag, and I still have full grip. And for, um, let's see, yeah, you don't have fully loaded, so you have marathon, because you want to move around the map pretty fast. You have takedown, you want to be stealthy, again, dead silence, so you can't be sound horde. Um, off the grid, you don't want people giving away position with satcoms, and IDs, just you can throw them somewhere, and you get two free kills. And then with... Then uh, for so you want to run support because you're not going to get enough kills if you're getting assault streaks or specialists. So I always run I run an ammo crate, ballistic vest, and oracle. But I, I used to run I used to run a uh, the, the the support squad mate, but uh, that they nerfed it, so I, it's not that useful anymore. And then my last class is actually a Russian class, surprisingly, like a camper having a Russian class. But of course, I don't really use this that much, but whenever you can't camp a map because people don't let you play that way, then you might always want to pull this overpowered class out because MTAR is the most OP in the gun in the game. So put suppressor and grip on it. It's a really good combo. You put, of course, lethals, tacticals. I mean, it's not you can camp with this class, but it's primarily rushing. You put you put uh, 
ready up, and marathon, that take down, dead silence, and off the grid, and this regular perks. See, so and it's a pretty effective class. I mean, can't go wrong with it. But anyway, guys, that's we're getting towards the end of the video. So if you guys liked and if you enjoyed the content, just like and subscribe. And also, guys, I have reached 50 subscribers. So thanks to all of you who have subscribed. And if you're new here, just don't forget to subscribe. So thank you. This has been World at War Buckus Pro, and.